All right, guys, today is Thursday, November 17th, and snowmaking just kind of kicked back off. We've already been on a pretty big spree here of about a few days of snowmaking, but yesterday night started one of the biggest pushes that we'll see for a while, and this is a five-day stretch. We're making our way over to Welch Village because I just heard that the new TA guns that they purchased, the 10 Towers, are going in right now, and the Techno Alpin rep, PJ, is gonna be on site. So we'll talk with him over there, check in to see what kind of progress they're making on installing these guns and see what kind of snowmaking is going on. Going to fire up some gun. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so here with PJ. Midwest and Southeast sales rep for Techno Alpin snowmaking equipment. So if you're looking for a yellow gun in the Midwest, this is the this is the guy to hit up. Obviously we're installing, we installed a couple of guns, fired them up, kind of test testing them out. But I kind of want to just dial it back because a lot of people don't even understand how snowmaking even works. How does this work? So the process of snowmaking is, um, is there's nothing magic to it. Uh, it's just uh, forcing the process of what mother nature does. We're putting high pressure water and high pressure air, and we're mixing them together really quickly and uh, forcing that water molecule to what we call nucleate. And so it grabs a little nucleus in the water and the cold air, cold water, they make a snowflake. Push it through the snow gun and it's out on the hill. It's a pretty simple process, but uh, it takes a little bit of machinery to force that process. So where's this air coming from? Do you guys have an onboard compressor? How so, does that work? Yep, so not all not all snow guns have an onboard air compressor. These ones do, this is the new TT10. Most snow guns you see in the Midwest uh, typically have an onboard air compressor. Uh, some hills will push the air up the hill as well and have air going to the gun. So it depends on the system, no right or wrong. This is a standard fan gun, which I would say is the most common, especially in the Midwest. However, you do see things like sticks, you see these short, stubbier sure. guns. Talk about like maybe some of those. Fan guns are really popular here and really common in the Midwest. They're really suited for bigger areas. They can battle the wind a little bit, but there's also what we call a lance or a stick gun. Those are typically better suited for smaller trails, narrower trails. They also like a little higher pressure water, uh, so base areas is a, is a good good spot for them. And with, of course, the fan gun, you have that turbine, and so you've got, you know, 100 so feet that the turbine is gonna push that snow. So when you have a lance, it just falls out of the nozzle, essentially. So it's uh, depends on what the, what the hill looks like or what the run looks like. You know, without the snow making, those new lifts are kind of useless, and so are the new snow cats, and so, you know, it's not a super sexy thing to talk about. <laughs> um, but there is no skiing in the Midwest without it. Quite frankly, there's one really, I think, only ski area that operates without it. It's a very key part of what ski areas need to operate. And so when you see places like Welch Village here investing, it's a, it, it only adds a huge amount of value to the skier experience here. It means they're getting open quicker. They're having better terrain while they're open. The snow is, is a better quality. It's a very, very important part of Midwest ski culture. It's one thing to obviously have the equipment, but then you have to have people to still go out there, man those guns. You know, these are, they're kind of forgotten heroes at the, at the ski areas. You know, these guys work at night, at cold temperatures, icy slopes. It's a very thankless job and people don't, you don't see them. And so if you do see a snowmaker out there, make sure you give them a good, at least a thumbs up while you're on the chairlift. PJ, so much fun today, dude. I'm hoping okay, that man. you guys all learned a little bit about snowmaking and the people that make it happen. But until next time, guys, I hope all of you have a great week. Pray for that snow or cold temperatures and I'll see you guys out there.